some surprising information about so-called clusters of heroin overdoses and why they seem to move from neighborhood to neighborhood. First responders and addicts themselves tell our Scott Wegener a shocking revelation. Some sections of Vine Street are well known as marketplaces to buy and sell drugs like heroin. But other areas are only hot spots for brief periods of time. And the reason for that might shock you. I've been using heroin for about five years. Jacob Westcott says he's been clean for several months. Prowling the streets was second nature. Looking for a rush that only I could satisfy. But the way he found that rush was decidedly high tech. Going through the DEA's website to find out where the most drugs were coming in from. And listen to how more and more addicts are seeking out more and more potent forms of heroin. There are reports that you could find online that show the highest percentages of ODs. And that's where people nowadays are going to find where the drug's at because that's where the harder stuff is. It is crazy, but that's what drugs do. Emergency responders are seeing it happen across the city. They want a better high out of it. So they know if it actually kills somebody, there's a more potent batch. Greg Williams and Mark Sanders sometimes see so many clusters of overdoses in one area, their trucks run out of the life-saving heroin antidote, Narcan. The cluster moves maybe from neighborhood to neighborhood. Often bringing with it a rising tide of fatalities. People will come out of town or sometimes even out of state just to find the right drug. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, Cincinnati.